Hello, y'all, and welcome to the Main Stage UK Edition. I'm Scarlett Vixen. And I'm Amos Andrew. And this is the show where we'll be reviewing all the looks and fashions from Drag Race UK Season 2. Season 2, y'all. And we are currently on Episode 2. <laughs> episode 2, y'all. So, from the previous video, it looks like you guys are enjoying the content, so... Um, thank you guys from the UK who are tuning in and thank you for all the views and subscriptions. Yes, thank you so much. And very similar to our um, US model, we'll be judging the girls from 1 to 10. 10 being like, yes, bitch, you brought it to the main stage. Whereas one's like, girl, why'd you bring that to the runway? Yeah. Um, and then after we review all the girls, we're going to have a Twiggy of the week. That's the girls who received the highest score and just slayed it this whole episode. So the theme of this week's runway is surprise, surprise. And... I guess you could bring any kind of surprise because we saw reveals, we saw butts, we saw <laughs> blood, and we saw nothing at all for some of the girls. <laughs> so it was a toss up. Um, it was a very interesting runway. So you ready to get into it? I'm ready. I'm excited to see some looks. First victim, we have Ahura. So I gave this look a nine. I really like this look. Um, you know, her reveal is that she went from this kind of like groom suit into like the bride look. Um, and I thought she executed it pretty well. Bitch, I live when she threw that top hat off and it was a whole, a whole style <laughs> wig under that. Um, yeah, I thought she did re really well on the runway. Yes, I love this look as well. I gave her an eight. Um, she looked great. Like there's really no quote unquote critiques, but you know that my only real thing is like, we've seen, you know, people wear a suit on the main stage before, you know, we've seen a wedding dress on the main stage before. So the other than that, that's why I gave her, you know, a d deducted two points, deducted two points for her look. Um, but other than that, she looked good. Eight. Next we have Miss Veronica Green. If you do not remember her, this is a bitch that she cut up, sliced, oh diced, my God. everything last episode. But baby girl, she must have saw this video because she came to slay this shit this episode. I gave this bitch a 10. Now let's be clear. Not so much on her when she came out with that motherfucking pan of cookies or whatever it was, but when she transformed into the robo girl or robo mm -hmm. bot, whatever it was, she looked sickening. Kudos, 10. Yeah, you know, I had a lot of shit to say about Veronica Green last week, but you know, this bitch proved me wrong this week. She slayed the challenge, and with this runway, I gave her a nine. Now, when she came out in the first look, I knew she was going to go for like a Stepford wife, like robot look. I just didn't know how she was going to do the reveal. And when that bitch threw off the wig and had a whole helmet moment under there, I was living. I thought... She did excellent. Uh, we will not discuss the makeup, but <laughs> as far as the look goes, I really enjoyed it. So congrats, Veronica. You better keep it up, bitch. Yes. So next is Cherry Valentine, and this bitch was supposed to be my fashion girl. Oh. What happened, Cherry? What girl, happened? Girl. This look was just ugly. I gave it a four. <laughs> Now, I wasn't mad I wasn't mad at the concept and I wasn't too mad at the first look, but when she took that off and it was just like literally a yellow dress with like the pregnant girl, she knows belly she, bump. She got it from Forever 21. Uh, it was giving me very much Fifi um, O'Hara from that one challenge. Oh. And I just, I just did not like anything about it. It was cute when she popped the balloon, but besides that girl, this was a, a this mess. This was a mess. This, this was, was a, a mess. total mess. I gave her a five, bitch, the only thing I liked about this look was the big ass bow in the beginning that she came mm -hmm. out with. That was the only thing. This was, other than that, it was fucking boring. It's like, damn, bitch, we see people do gender reveals every fucking day on Instagram. And they look better than she looks. Yeah. So I'm like, girl, give us something more. This was a mess. Yeah. But um, hopefully she'll slay us from after the elimination. Because I do think she has a lot of potential. Next, we have sister, sister on the stage. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with this. <laughs> I was lost in concept. I was lost mm -hmm. in looks. I was lost in wig. I was lost in the face. This bitch was the mess. She got a four from me. I just didn't know what was going on. You go from a long yellow gown to some like lingerie, do, do, lingerie harness shit. I was just confused, honey. Sister, sister, like maybe they do. <laughs> my Brit, my Brits that are watching this, let me know in the comments because maybe I don't understand the drag of some of these girls. Girl. Let me know a little something because a bitch is lost. Is y'all different over there? <laughs> I'm even there. Because I gave this look a five. Like you said, I don't know what she was doing. <laughs> and honestly, I at this point, I just don't know what sister, sister's drag is. Like, I just don't think. She showed what her like character is or what her style really is yet. Maybe it'll all change in the future, but right now, I just did not like this look. Um, I mean, it wasn't horrible, but it was just 
average. It was like, what's the concept? And then I don't know what, like at the end she took the wig off and like, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> But yeah, it was just nothing for me. If you know what concept she was giving, let us know. Cause we are the moose flabbergasted. Honey, shocked. <laughs> we have Lawrence Chaney next and- Lawrence Chaney. <laughs> I gave this look a six. It kind of disappointed me, especially when she, uh, when she slayed last week. Uh, it was pretty basic. I mean, the first look was whatever. And then she, you know, transforming through the tartan. We've seen the tartan looks before. It wasn't really fitted well. Like I wish it was more in the center. Um, the hair was okay. It wasn't my fave. It was just very basic for me. Yes, this was very basic. I gave Lawrence a six as well. I was just not a fan. This is right now leading up. This is doing nothing for me. It's very similar to the um, two in one looks that they did on um, I think RuPaul All-Stars, where the girls just revealed two looks. So I'm like, what, what's going on? Um, and again, there was nothing surprising about this look. Lawrence is a top contender for myself and Scarlett, so I was really expecting more from her. Not a fan. Oh, bitch, I spoke too soon about the girls doing a two-in-one look. Because Miss Jenny Lemon, honey, fancy y'all. Yes, Bitch, gags me, honey. This bitch came out in this outfit, bitch. And the reveal was the
Um, and this bitch, I told her to wear a drag wig and she said, you know what, I'm just gonna get the same wig. <laughs> I've worn every other look and uh, make it blonde. But I mean, it looked good, but everything would look good on her. It was just, I was not impressed with anything. And bitch, one thing about for me with taste, bitch, taste, you never have to change that motherfucking hair, honey. Give me black, give me blonde, give me red, give me brown, bitch, I love that bone straight shit. Honey, apparently, well that's all she brought, so you'll see, <laughs> you'll see every color apparently. <laughs> Next up, we have Astina Mandela. I gave this bitch a one. I hate this look. Damn, really? I hate this look. It was just, nothing about it was good to me. And so, the girl, you know, last week I was, I felt like I was pretty harsh on Astina. Well, I didn't feel I was, y'all thought I was harsh on Astina. Cause I gave her a four for wearing an ASOS jacket. But bitch, y'all gassed her up and look what she brought this runway. She bought this from Party City and she said, girl, let me put some bad prosthetics on and hit the runway. The only thing I like is the bob. Uh, <laughs> besides that, it was just so simple. You have fucking Ellie Diamond who created all three looks, half are doing magic hocus pocus on the stage, and then you have homegirl coming out looking like this. It was just a no for me, mama. Yeah, I gave this look a six. I wasn't super mad about it. Um, I do like, um, you know, like, games and stuff like that, so I knew she was doing a Mortal Kombat reference. Now, what I would have liked to see was, bitch, you come out as Katana first with the blue fit, and then you were built oh. to Jade, bitch, in the green fit, and then you were built to Melania, bitch, in the pink fit, and then show us the mouth. Now, that would have been sickening. You know, I don't know if the girl didn't have enough um, room in her bag for another thong and a bathing suit or whatever it was, or maybe she didn't have room for, you know, Jade's huge staff or Katana's fans, but, you know, maybe that's what all she could do right now, but... It wasn't horrible, but I was expecting more because if you do know more to come back, you knew the right when she hit the runway, her surprise was gonna be the mouth. So it was like whatever. Yeah, she had room because Cherry brought a vacuum, so. <laughs> uh, but I mean, and Mick brought a leaf blower in the U.S. I, version. In the U.S. version. So I mean, I just feel like I want to see so much out of Estita because I know that bitch has it, and I'm gonna live when she performs because I know she's gonna lip sync. Uh, <laughs> Damn, she got a lipstick girl. I know she's got a lipstick soon. So I just, I just wish it was all there for me. So it wasn't. Okay, you guys. Next we have Miss um, Bimini Bimini Boo, bitch. Um, Bimini. I actually loved this look, bitch. Don't drag me in the comments, y'all. But I gave her a ten. I love this look, despite not having a full surprise. You know, she had a little mishap on the runway with the balloons were fucking up or whatever. It girl, was. she had no surprise. <laughs> But she looks gorgeous. I love that fucking wig. I love the thigh boot with her, you know, nice corset and the balloons. Now, I'm just putting in my head, bitch, if these balloons would have popped and paint would have splattered all over that corset, mm -hmm. this would have been a hit, yeah. bitch. She looks stunning. That's why I gave her a 10. Yeah. I gave her an eight. I really do like this look. Obviously, y'all know I like Bimini. Um, the wig was everything. I want to know how she got it like that. <laughs> and I just really love the concept of, you know, she would pop the balloon and paint comes out, but... At the end of the day, she didn't have a surprise, so... And I also don't know how the paint didn't come out, because did you, don't you just put paint and you pop it and paint comes out? Yeah, maybe she... She forgot to put the paint she, in? Maybe she blew them up a long time ago and the paint dried. dried. I, oh, I could see that, yeah. but yeah. Um, if you do go to her Instagram, you do see what it should have looked like, and when the paint popped, it would have been like the color of the trans flag. Mm. So I was like, honey, her and Mick were on the same page this week. Yes. So yeah, I really like Bimini and I gave this one an eight, even though it didn't pan out how it should have. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Next up, we have Tia Coffee. <laughs> Why y'all keep doing this to me? Y'all keep doing this. Girl, you sound so excited. And it, it's gotta make me come off like a bitch. And I swear to God, I am not a bitch. I hate this look. Um, bitch, she came clonking down her I, I, okay, I give this look a two. At least she had a con an original concept. Um, but that's all she had though. Um, I just, the first look, you know, she came out as the hairy, like, leather daddy. She transformed into the second one, which was like a flamenco dress. Appa allegedly, it was custom made. <laughs> Would love to see the DMs for that outfit. <laughs> Would love to see the receipts, um, because it was just not cute. But I, I like, feel bad, because I feel like she's trying her best. Um, I just don't think she was prepared for Drag Race. Um, I do think, you know, she did good on the challenge. She and, was. 
you know, stuff like that. I just, I hate this outfit and I hate the wig. The makeup was fine, um, just everything else was a mess. Honey, one thing about it, and two things for show, Tia Coffee did not get on this show for her looks. Because, baby, she must have been acting her ass off of the audition video. She must have been lip syncing her ass off because this bitch looks so. I gave this bitch a three, okay? Because I don't know what the fuck is going on. Bitch, if, if you come out of something like this, at least be able to walk this stage fiercely. This bitch can't even do that. Bitch, you are rivaling Kim Cheese walk on the runway. You <laughs> suck! Damn! And I'm rooting for her. I always, I always, I'm Melanie Queen, honey, mm -hmm. every single time. But I'm just like, Tia Kobe, where you at? And that shaking go ass wig. <laughs> Come on, girl. So Michelle said she didn't even shake it. She, girl. Just, she was just go. <laughs> Period. I'm just like, and you know, and you know, we don't, we try not to compare a lot of queens to each other, but when you see you look like a flamingo dancer when Roxy did it in the twin one look, it's, and then you see something like this, it's like, girl, just write Roxy's look to the, to the fucking runway. You come to something like this, bitch, that you got at Party City? You thought it was custom made, bitch, you went to Party City and got that shit and sent it to you. Girl, yeah, I did not like this look. And someone was in the comments last week talking about <coughs> how someone else is gonna get mad at me because I didn't give Tia a 10. <laughs> Tia could never get a 10 from me. <laughs> Let's get that straight. But comment this look, same person, comment on this one and let us know what you think she should get. Because you obviously stand for her and we need to know what you will give this look, honey. Um, but yeah, and also I don't get it because like I'm, I've seen Tia's looks after they filmed the show and her other looks are like really good. Like bitch, one time she was a teacup, her hair was the tea coming out. I was like, where was that look for this? <laughs> where was that look when you walked into the rock room? <laughs> so yeah, maybe, and then she had this. Then she said, all the looks last week were her worst looks. Then she came out in this. <laughs> okay, y'all. We, we can keep going all around. I take coffee. Moving on. I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> we, you know, I hope she excels the rest of this season because these looks have not done it for me. But at the end of the day, it's nothing personal, girl. We're just talking about the clothes. So if you saw us drag to your coffee, thank you so much for watching this much of the video. Um, next, we have our Miss Twiggy of the week. And we have chosen Miss Ellie Diamond. Diamond. Yes, Congrats. girl. You did that, honey. The concept, the execution, the look, it was perfect. So, congrats, Ellie. You are slaying this season so far. Yes, can't wait to see what you bring next. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video. And we'll start posting the UK videos on Tuesday. I know last week we said Monday, but bitch, that was too much work for me to edit everything. And yeah, um, just comment, be positive. I know we dragged Tia, but it's all from love. It's uh, just us having a kiki. Yeah, and let us know your opinions, you guys. We wanna see your comments. We want you, you know, we wanna know what you guys think, whether you agree with us or not. So just continue to watch, like, comment, and subscribe. We truly appreciate it. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, y'all.